Results from the Jacksonville's mayoral election making waves in the Republican race for president. Following the Don and Deacon victory at Daniel Davis loss, former President Donald Trump took to Truth Social, pinning the Republican loss on Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. DeSantis endorsed Davis. News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson joining us live at City Hall, where he spoke with a conservative talk radio host about the GOP infighting Scott that is now centering on Jacksonville. Joy, when we learned Donald Trump would be taking, or not Donald Trump, excuse me, Donna Deegan would be taking over here at City Hall, Donald Trump weighs in and turned this big local story into a national one. Donna Deegan's victory was big news in Jacksonville, but when Donald Trump put out this message on Truth Social, it magnified the story. Wow. In a big upset, the desanctimonious backed Republican candidate for mayor of Jacksonville, Florida, lost. This is a shocker. If they would have asked me to endorse, he would have won easily. Too proud to do so. Fools. This is a big loss for the Republican Party. Donna Deegan was quick to get national attention as this was happening, doing an interview on the Morning Joe show on MSNBC and multiple media outlets from the Washington Examiner to the Drudge Report and Politico started writing headlines about Davis being DeSantis endorsed. It's nothing but spin. I mean, if you really want to talk about spinning this, let's talk about who was on board of the Daniel Davis campaign. It was nothing but Trump allies. Ed Dean is a conservative talk radio host in Jacksonville who has been dealing with an audience that likes both Trump and DeSantis. He questions a lot of this because he says a lot of Trump supporters and people in his orbit were helping the Davis campaign. While DeSantis's endorsement didn't make many headlines and got almost no coverage locally. It's the news headlines nationally are popping up that say DeSantis took a hit, DeSantis took a hit. Do you think that makes a difference? I don't think so. I mean, if you look at DeSantis's record versus Trump in Florida, DeSantis wins. And by the way, I would throw this back at some of my Trump friends. Why is it that the main key races for the U.S. Senate last year of the Trump endorsements lost in the general election? Dean mentioned something else that he thinks really cost Davis the election. That was that first race for mayor. And when they went into this runoff where there are other Republicans like Leanna Cumber, and there were some blistering campaign ads, negative advertising you saw on your TVs for month. He thinks that that turned off a lot of Republican voters. More on that at 11. For now, live at City Hall, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.